What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So recently I've been messing around with AI in Ubuntu. I'm a complete Ubuntu noob, but I've been struggling for hours trying to figure this issue out with deep speed. Essentially, whenever I run a deep speed Python program, it'll come back saying error building extension CPU Adam. Essentially, this specific extension for deep speed isn't installed, but how exactly do we fix this error and get it installed? Well, unlike me spending hours on things that don't really help, all we need to do is type in ds underscore report to see exactly what deep speed on our computer currently supports. Previously, it said CPU Adam, no, and utils, no, but I've simply reinstalled deep speed with these enabled. It was relatively simple to do, and that's exactly what I'll show you here now. Usually to install deep speed, you'll type in pip install deep speed. So just to give you an example, I'll quickly uninstall it, then reinstall it, and ds report. As you can see, CPU Adam is no longer supported, so I'm not able to use this. How do we enable this? Well, the answer is relatively simple. Before we type in pip install deep speed, we need to type in some variables. Essentially, we'll tell it what to build and install with. This part was what confused me, but should be relatively simple. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the install tutorial for Deep Speed AI, which probably would have been useful if I knew to look here. Essentially, you can just pip install Deep Speed, but if you'd like any of the extensions, we can do something like this by simply adding a variable before the install command. So scrolling down, we can see all of these toggles here that we can enable and install it with. So for example, if you want CPU Atom, I'll simply copy this, come across to my console, and I'll type in DS build CPU Atom equals one space. And from here, I could do pip install deep speed and continue my day as usual. But if you'd like to install anything else here, simply copy it, paste it in, equals one, and simply build the list as you see fit. Or of course, you can just enter this command here, DS build ops equals one, to toggle all of these on at least from what I understand here. Then all we need to do is pip install deep speed, but there is a bit more here that we can copy and enter as it should parallelize things and make them install a little bit faster. This one's set for eight cores. So I'll paste it in as such, pip install deep speed, DS build ops one, and because I have a 12 core 24 thread processor, I'll replace eight with 12 and hit enter to go ahead and install this. If you see this here and nothing much changes, DS report, things haven't enabled. First of all, you'll need to pip uninstall deep speed, then yes, and this time we can reinstall without DS build ops one or whatever you've toggled on, and this time it should take a little bit to a lot longer. If you receive an error like this, then we need to install something extra, which you'll see here in the warning section. So please install a Triton, I'll copy this, and I'll run pip install Triton. Once it's installed, we can try again, but for me, I don't need everything extra, so instead, I'll only be using CPU Adam equals one, maybe the utils down here as well. And that's pretty much all that I need for now, just to experiment with. I'll go ahead and hit install. And this time it should run setup.py, depending on how many things you're installing and how many cores you have, how many cores you've given it, it should take a couple of minutes to complete. Though this completely depends on your computer. Here we go, it's now complete, DS report. You can see Adam and utils are now both installed. If while you're running that install command, things don't work properly and you receive a GCC error, all we need to do is type in say max GCC version equals, and we'll enter the version here that corresponds to CUDA's max GCC supported version. In the description down below, you'll also find this stack overflow answer here with a bunch of different versions here. I'm using CUDA 11.3, the max version is 10, so that's what I'll be entering here. Then I'll hit enter. Then all we need to do is follow along with these here. I'll copy in this command, run it to download and install the GCC that's supported by CUDA. Then I'll copy these two commands here as well, run them, and it should symlink them to our computer. If for some reason you're getting an error that the symlink already exists, because you may have run these commands before, simply run sudo rm user local CUDA bin gcc, which is the one link that we created here, or g++, which is the other link we can create here, that you'd only really use if you install a different version and now you're changing it once more. Other than that, deep speed is now installed and hopefully things go well for you. I spent the last few hours on this, so I really do hope this tutorial saves you a ton of time, as it could have me if it existed. Anyways, that's really about it for this video. 
Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.